Got to jump in. Got to jump in there, sorry. Anthony Albanese has begun speaking at his news conference in Wollongong. Let's go there live. On the respect that we thought was something that was going to be permanent. Respect for people's sovereignty and for nation states to be able to determine their own destiny. The truth is that Russia thought that this war would be over in a few days. And I want to pay tribute to the courage and resilience and determination of the people of Ukraine, led by President Zelensky so ably and with such courage, who have withstood an invasion by a much larger and more powerful country. They have made enormous sacrifice, a sacrifice in lives, a sacrifice in infrastructure, a sacrifice in their standard of living. They live under constant pressure, air raids, atrocities committed by the Russian forces in Ukraine, and yet they have stood tall. They've stood tall not just in their interests, but in the interests of all who hold democratic values so clearly around the world. And that's why Australia continues to stand with the people and government of Ukraine. Today, uh, we're announcing additional support for uncrewed aerial systems, some call them drones, to provide support for the people of Ukraine. Today also, 200 Ukrainian soldiers will graduate from the Australian-based training that's occurring in the United Kingdom under Operation Kudu. I want to pay tribute to the Australian Defence Force personnel who are undertaking this training, uh, making sure that people who are basically enlisting to defend their country, their family and their sovereignty and their future get appropriate training before they're sent uh, into this brutal war with the powerful Russian forces that seem determined to inflict damage in such an unprovoked and, in some circumstances, just a random way. There is no question that war crimes are being committed in Ukraine. I've seen firsthand, when I visited Kyiv and President Zelensky, housing blocks just blown apart, uh, residential areas bombed with missile attacks as well as with tanks that got to the outskirts of Ukraine, just uh, of Kyiv, just to its north. So today I pay tribute to the people and leadership of Ukraine and I pledge in a bipartisan way that the Australian people stand with the people of Ukraine. Uh, we will also provide, and um, we've announced additional sanctions against uh, those uh, people and companies who are involved in the Russian war machine. It's appropriate now, the sanctions now have hit uh, more than 1,000 and will continue to act in coalition uh, with other democratic forces around the world to impose these sanctions. Uh, the UN resolution that we supported as well, calling upon a just solution, has been supported by some 140 countries. But today, on this, uh, on this time where it is one year uh, since this illegal invasion, we again say to President Putin, stop this war now. Withdraw your forces now. This is an unprovoked attack. No one is threatening Russia. No one is threatening Russia's sovereignty. There is no need for you to continue this war, which is causing damage not just to the people of Ukraine, but to those Russian soldiers who are being sent to the front line, who have caused so much death and devastation on both sides. President Putin can stop this, and he can stop this today, and he should stop this today.